bless you this morning. Bless you. <laughs> Tell your neighbor there is a purpose and a time for everything under heaven. You know, I, I wanted to say to you, God has been really, uh, I'm sure he has been mutually sharing with um, most of the people of God in the body of Christ. But I want to talk a little bit this morning, very briefly, concerning relationships. As some of you know, on last week and the week before, we have been preparing for what the world calls Lent. Actually, we, we operate out of the Hebraic calendar, but unless you have transition, you're in the Gregorian calendar. And all of that being said, I want you to understand God is asking for somebody to say relationship. relationship. He, the, the scripture says we love him because he first loved us. And relationships, say relationships. relationships. Uh, we don't want to believe it, but they must be mutual. Come on, you need to say they must be mutual. One of the things I love about Jesus is his purpose was fulfilled and he came in the time that man would need to be saved. When Adam uh, sinned in the garden, it made way that God would have to come and bring redemption to his people. Say amen. amen. There's a time and a season. Amen. And so as we enter into season, God is saying that we need to prepare our hearts and our spirit to learn to love him the more. You see, people want to have relationship, but before you have ministry, you must have relationship. See, if you don't know how somebody else's feel, if you don't understand how they operate, if you don't understand the very texture and nature of a person, you can't have what? Real relationship. Amen? You see, a husband can't have a wife that he just comes in the door and asks for his food. You can't have a relationship even on your job or even in the church if you don't exchange ideas, understanding, and revelation. Somebody say revelation. You see, this is the season that God is demanding relationship because the people in church just come to church, but the Christ of the church ain't coming with them. You ain't got to say it, man. It's all right. I don't, I don't worry about my critics. But I'm just trying to share that God wants real relationship. A lot of times we think we have relationship. We get in a pattern. We pray. We talk to who we want to talk to. But God is demanding a relationship. We cry out to him and we say we want blessings, but we don't bless him. We say we want things, but we don't want him. A lot of times the creature has to understand the very nature of the creator. What is he saying? God is saying that he wants deeper relationship. The Catholics have went into what they have called Lent. Amen. This is a time when we set ourselves aside. When you go fasting and praying, you're not worrying about somebody else. You need to be dealing with your own issues. But the holiness... The holiness what God is demanding demands that you have real relationship with him. You've heard me say it before, and before I take it back, I add more to it. You can't do anything in God if you don't have real relationship. God is not a cosmic Santa Claus that you call him when you need something. Most people just want them when he's sick, when they want money, when they want relief from their, from their relationship that they had, shouldn't be in any way. But God wants real relationship. During this time, God is putting the demand on all the people of the body of Christ to evaluate, do a self-evaluation on am I really loving God the way he loves me? You see, God is not like man. See, do you love you today and hate you tomorrow? He said, but greater love has no man than this than to lay down his life for a friend. And so we sing the song, I am a friend of God. But do you meet your friend in the quiet place? Do you appreciate everything that he's done already? And if so, you have to understand that comes from having real relationship. You see, when you have when you have intimate relationship, a whisper can mean a, go a long way. When you have real relationship, even when you go to volume, he says in Isaiah 65 and 24, when you call, I will answer. And while you're yet speaking, I would hear. That comes from having somebody shout relationship. relationship. God is telling you today, you've been putting footing around. You've been playing around. God is making the demand on the body of Christ. You have to understand, not only does God want relationship, it is time that we want the blessing. We want the double portion. God has said it, and it is to be so. But there are some criteria for even getting your prophecies 
fulfilled, like living holy, like being righteous in business, in church, and in your personal dealings. So God is saying there is a demand, hallelujah, and God says love him the way he loves you. Now you don't have to love God because his love is greater than the love you would have. But God wants to have real relationship. And evaluate as I take my seat some of your relationships. Sometimes people think folks are friends because they call up on the phone. My father used to say that's a quick relationship. But God wants to, in the body of Christ, we must need to build real relationship. Why? So you'll know a person's heart, you'll know their purpose, and you won't have relationships out of time. Somebody say relationship. I love him. Because he first loved me. Selah. Amen. 